Would you rather be miserable and single or happy in a poly? Amorous relationship. Yeah, why would you so want to be miserable? Why does it always look like she's writing paragraphs? Right? And there's like one word. If Christina would see him in front of her face, she would go in a heartbeat. Morgan Freeman? Because like, you well, don't tell. Like, if I try to lay on my stomach, <laughs> yes. you do the same thing. Yeah, it's like, you'll stay laying down and just. <laughs> you look like Blue Beetle, so I guess in, in, um, in celebration of Blue Beetle coming out, you dressed in all blue. Yeah, that's why I wore this. You have the scarab right here. That we got right here at the movie theaters. Everybody collects the, uh, well, actually, we've been starting to collect some of the popcorn buckets, and the Scarif was one of the buckets. It's a backpack uh, popcorn bucket, like the ones we have up there. Yeah. Okay. Scarab. Yeah, the Scarif, that's what it's called. Scarif? Scarab. 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 Sorry. Uh, wow. Scarab. I haven't had anybody correct me in so long. Okay. Hey, Chris, it. is like, uh, You're welcome. Yeah. Well, the welcome wives are the on wives. Right. Fuck, You're I don't welcome. know if I want to do this anymore. <laughs> I don't you know. You got the wrong two people on the damn couch. <laughs> if you don't want to be I know. Uh, so we That's have our, crazy. Our, our wives uh, on this episode today. Uh, this week, not today. Um, y'all got to kind of have, they had a little background cameo last week. So y'all kind of got just to know they were there. You didn't get yeah. no actual. And then they didn't take up for us during the Snow White talk. And then now we're getting shit. Yeah, there's, yeah, we were getting shit online for that. Why? People were like, oh, you guys are men. This would come from men type of shit. And being like, oh, like people can reinvent the story like people were like i thought that clip of us talking about snow white how we want snow that's white, crazy snow white to be uh just like the cartoon is not an issue and then we got backlash on youtube and on tiktok i was like yeah. what the fuck so now's your opportunity started off with like what did you think and pointed at me so it was like <laughs> but i didn't have a mic so yeah well you know you know what's funny is when i went back to look at the edit because there's parts where gibby leaves red where I got to cut out and I'm like, oh, I got to see why. And that was the part where I was like, what do you think? And it shows me a lyrical like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, damn. And we just, we just <laughs> answered, we answered back and we were like, what the fuck? Like it, I'm looking at it. Like, this doesn't make any sense. So, <laughs> sense. but now, well, now that you're here, Oh, who? before we get into anything, then now's your uh, opportunity. So first it's Christina, lyrical's wife mm-hmm. and Gabby, my wife, Jesus' wife. Uh, and then Gibby's in the back. He has no mic. So in, instead of a mic, he has this. Sure, buddy. No, okay. Uh, All right, give me. Whoa, give me. man. There we go. That's crazy. Challenge there drinking we go. game if you want, you know, just take a sip every time he uses that button. No, oh, no, no, no. We were, we, alcohol we, poisoning. <laughs> 30, That's crazy. 30 minutes in, we're, uh, uh, so, okay. Well, Speaking of which. Now that y'all are here, so then what do y'all think uh, on the Snow White? Since we have no room to talk because we're men, we have, it doesn't doesn't matter you know apparently yeah, what do y'all us. think Black about this yeah trip. what do y'all think about snow white the oh. new snow white the new snow white the remake coming out that disney's making they should have never done it i mean i think it's just it's not snow white at that point like i feel like no it's not yeah you know, what we had said like just make your own story then if you want it to be all Feminism, this and that, which not to bash on that. It's just no. It sounds like you're bashing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it sounds like you're against <laughs> feminism. No, um, I don't know. Like I just feel like when I want to watch one of those classics, it's for that story. Mm-hmm. If it's a completely different story, then it's just a different movie. Like with that title, it's like you're gonna make the money regardless if that name is behind it, releasing mm-hmm. it, and everything. But. Don't don't you think it's funny? Uh, go ahead, go off, King. <laughs> don't you think it's funny that like everybody complained like, oh, Lion King was it was too spot on. Jungle Book that was too spot on. Aladdin it was too spot on. The live action remakes and then they're like, all right, we're gonna make Snow White. And they're like, whoa, this is way too far. <laughs> yeah. Like it's like, okay, <laughs> find that. Perfect. Yeah, they just immediately like, we're gonna turn the whole yeah, one thing over. Or well, the it's other. kind of a cash grab anyway. Like, oh, let's just remake these old movies mm-hmm. and. But they lost, like... I think the only one I really got down with was uh, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is the I, shit. Yeah. That remake is really good. I've yet to finish Holy them. Holy shit, I'm gonna go. Seen it. I've yet to finish it. So I've only seen, like, the first 30 minutes. But it's it's almost like the the uh, the cartoon. Just... Mm-hmm. It's cool good. To, it's too. cool to see the live action part of it, like... And it's good whenever they stay true to it. Because then you can compare it to yeah. the other one. And, like, dang, that's crazy. Like, they... Mm-hmm. 
they did that's that crazy. part, or you're looking forward to like certain parts, mm-hmm. and then you get to see it like live action. Yeah, and then now it's like, well, I don't even know what this is gonna be. Yeah, see, and I think they did a little bit good on like Aladdin, like they had a little bit change where it wasn't like exactly like the uh, cartoon. Will and, Smith. Yeah, and that one got more. <laughs> that one had like the least. Uh, like the lower rating than the other films, right? That was probably my least favorite. Of but that was my most favorite. Really? Like I loved, I loved the Aladdin. Like that one was like my most favorite. It's crazy. It's crazy how I feel like I like everything that everybody doesn't like. <laughs> like I like the Office. Like, what's your favorite? You know, least favorite movie from Tarantino? It's probably my favorite, to be honest. Like it's always like that. I don't know why, but that one was my favorite. It was close. I'm not closest, but it was like, well, it was closer to a different film than just being like, oh, I'm just watching Aladdin again from. The cartoon, you know? So I think that one was great, but I don't know what the fuck we're, they're doing now with Snow White. Acting crazy. Mm-hmm. It makes me upset that they keep all the Disney movies the same, but they said, you know what, Snow White, we're going to change closer it and right. we're going to make it bad. Y'all talk closer in the we're mic. Gonna make it bad. We're going to make it bad. Be, elaborate, babe. You got to elaborate, <laughs> all right? Come on. What do you mean by bad? Like, you're just like, like it's unjured. bad. Don't make it. Like, no, elaborate. <laughs> Tell us, what do you mean? Bad as in, I want the princess and the prince charming coming to rescue i want the little seven dwarves i want dopey i want sneezy Slimy, yeah. i want doc <laughs> i want all the little original little characters on there I want so you everything. don't like the you seven say? magical creatures no for what <laughs> it's funny how like they're like we got to be inclusive let's not include midgets in this like little people like that's crazy and i hate that they don't even ask the little people like do y'all want to act in this or because they want the job and, and all they don't of them let do. Them. Yeah. yeah. Every damn one of that them that sucks. has spoken up is like, well, you're taking like the little shit that we can do. Well, yeah. Not and now they did it to the new Willy Wonka movie too. The the Oompa Loompa. Yeah. It's yeah. uh, he, what is it? He, no. Uh, Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant is just a, a little CGI version of a Oompa Loompa. And oh. I'm just like, y'all couldn't just find a little person like that. Like the Johnny Depp one. The no, new one, the no, new the new one. one, the one that's coming out in December. Why do they keep it's called uh, that movie? It's called for Wonka. What? For what? Yeah, leave it alone. They don't want to make new ideas, and, that's and it's a, it's a prequel to Willy Wonka. And I'll be honest, like I'm a big fan of Timothy Chalamet because he's playing Willy Wonka, but I'm just it, this just doesn't look good. To, it doesn't no. look interesting. See, to me. so this is our proof we're not just bashing girl shit. Like that's something that I don't I don't want to see it. Like we don't need it. Just I'm re-release. Sad. Uh, HD version of the original. Yeah, 4K. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, upset because they could have done so it. much with it. They could have made it so good and they ruined it. I think there's just certain movies they just need to leave alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, stop. Make I agree, something but, new. But I feel like that one's such an old classic that they could have made it so good. Mm-hmm. But I don't know how they just dropped the ball that, that bad. Like, I mean, I, I know it hasn't even came out, so I don't want to speak on it, but like, yeah, the main the main actress, I mean, just goes in and is just like bashing her own move. The own the, bashing the original. the original, yeah. And to me, it's just like no. she's like nobody wants that. I'm like, who's nobody? Like you and Gal, because y'all are the only ones excited to tear this story down. Although I've seen, but every you think film I've seen, Gal has been really bad. feels that way because sometimes she just kind of seems like she's just going along mm-hmm. on I camera. She looks happy that she's happy. <laughs> so that's yeah, what she looks yeah. like. She's like, like yeah. I'm I don't glad know you're what happy. to do, yeah. but yeah. she's young and hip. So yeah, this is the right thing. Like yeah. I want my career to keep going with this. You know, well, she so. she has that new movie in Netflix. I don't know if it's good or not. She's like Which all one? super. Like she's like the main person on that new Netflix. Movie. Oh, I did I see the called, thumbnail. Though. Uh, what is it? Heart of Stone. Oh yeah. Heart of Stone. Heart yeah. of Stone. She's like the big. I saw that she had like bangs on there. Yeah. Yeah, I saw like the little thumbnail, but I didn't actually click on it. I was like, I'll watch it later. And I just forgot about it. Bangs. Huh? <laughs> just Speaking of bangs. bangs, more reasons to uh, I like bangs. Shit all over you. I think the bangs are good, but I didn't see her with bangs. I didn't see the movie. I didn't want to see it because her bangs. Anyways, <laughs> um, what were we saying we're about Gal? Yeah, yeah we, her new Netflix like, movie. <laughs> all right. Anyways, well, you guys. There you guys have it. We we it's not just us. Yeah. No. And it's not just girl movies. No. We we don't want to see stupid remakes of. Yeah. 
of anything. They're trying to make the Snow White movie into the Barbie movie yeah. all over again. Yeah, let's not do this. No. Uh, we never finished that one. We felt we both fell asleep. Oh, Which so one? y'all the saw Barbie? the... Did y'all illegally we download We saw it? the... Uh, Which I don't recommend anyone no, to do. No, come on. No, did you guys watch it at <laughs> home? Yeah, we fell asleep. Yeah, the we theater. watched it at home. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> in the comfortable <laughs> seats, man. In our what, comfortable what think home about theater. It? Full price. I liked what I saw. It was cute for a Barbie movie. Um, yeah. I really wish I had finished it, though. I was just really, really tired. It wasn't that I wasn't interested. I just... I never asked the kids what they thought, because they watched it. Eva was the only one that actually made it all the way through. Yeah, she's usually the <laughs> lone survivor. <laughs> but yeah, we... I made it to... I know they were already, like, in the real world, and then people were already being warned that they were out there, and Ken was starting to see, like, like, how like regular men act and stuff, yeah. but I don't, <laughs> I don't think I made it any further than that. Did he fart? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of watching, we saw Blue Beetle this week, and it was a, a movie that uh, <clears throat> I've been very vocal about here on the podcast. Um, I don't think I've ever heard. You never, mention. maybe not. Maybe on the the. <laughs> I uh, a couple episodes. It's probably on the Patreon episodes. I don't think you guys are subscribed to those episodes. Yeah, you gotta pay on for the those. OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, we have the OnlyFans episodes over there. So we got two subscribers. Wow! Happy birthday. <laughs> well, you even said uh, last time that you knew that it was gonna suck. Yeah. So I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and say that. Oh my god! I knew this movie was gonna be good. I was like, this movie's gonna suck. This mm-hmm. movie looks bad. This movie looks like a just high def Disney movie, like a just a big budget Disney movie. It did. It, I'm not gonna lie. And I was like, it just doesn't look like it's innovating. It doesn't look like it's fresh. Like it just looks like another like just superhero movie. And that's what I was mad about. I was also mad about that they were like, oh, they have a the female voice on the scarab mm-hmm. because it's supposed to be like a Venom, like the way Venom is with Tom Hardy's character. So that's what I wanted. It's very very like protective of the host and like no we need to get shit done you know so that was one thing as well going in that i was like man i'm I'm just already kind of like whatever um but i have to say i take every single thing i said back that movie is amazing i mean amazing i love it i love 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 that movie like i did not expect to like it at all like i expected to be halfway in and being like <clears throat> we can go like i don't i'm good like whatever but like i kept turning around like every 10 minutes going to my son going it's pretty good and like 30 minutes in, i was like yeah, this, this just shot really fucking good like the director knew his lenses knew the camera choice knew what he was doing he the reason and the reason why the cgi on here was amazing is because almost everything else was practical so the cgi was minimal that they used so it's it stood out like it was great. So even with the low uh, low budget, quote unquote, uh, the CGI looked amazing. The fight scenes were amazing. The story was um, um, amazing. Yeah, it well, it was done well. Like it was paced so well. I don't like when in movies they're all like, oh, something sad happens, and then they give you like ten seconds to stick with it, and then it's on to the next thing. I hate that because I'm like, I don't I don't have any time, or they ruin it with a joke, or it's just I don't like that. And on here. They made you sit with a lot of stuff. They really made you think with it. They really made you think with the character walk in his shoes. And I was like, holy shit. Like I haven't seen, I haven't seen this since like, you know, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. It's like, I haven't like early movies like that. And not saying that this movie is as good as that, uh, but it fits right into that place of like originality where it's like, this feels like a great origin story, a great start. There's no connections. So it's not like, Oh, uh, he's connected to Batman so much and Batman's in here and oh, he relies on green lantern or Superman is his nothing, nothing. It's a blue beetle. That is it. Like you get mentioned, you know, of, you know, Batman and stuff, but it's, it just feels like very organic, very well done. The family dynamic. I thought they were going to be like sticking the Mexican culture in you. Like I was like, they're going to, they're going to stick that Mexican culture in you. And nah, they were just like family. It fits so well. You gay, it was organic. Wrong. One. It was organic. It was just done really, really, really well. And I mean, this and the scare about the end of it made sense as to why they chose uh, the voice and the way they did. Because at the end of it, I was like, this is it would only make sense this way. And it had to be done this way. 
And because of that, I was like, I loved it even more. And I was like, oh, I, I love this voice even more because it fits and it needed. This is what Jaime Reyes Blue Beetle needed in this movie was that scarab specifically than the one in Young Justice and stuff. Um, so out two out of t- 10, I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I gave it an eight and a half out of 10. Um, it was a great, it was a great origin story. But I mean, it still had its flaws here and there. It was still. I was going to say, what do you think? the viewers biggest complaint will be um mexicans no i don't know to be honest like I, that was something i was trying to really pick out like i think they might just not like the movie just because but like i don't really i don't know i don't i can't really see why they would hate it i can maybe see why they'd be like oh, it's just not for me i don't like it whatever but like to walk out going like that's a bad movie i can't really see anybody doing that i can see them being like oh that was good but it's not for me Mm-hmm. But I just, it's just not a bad movie. It's, it was well done. Like, even the villain where it kind of just felt like, oh, they didn't do too much. Like, he even had his moments. And it fits so well still where you're like, oh, fuck, it worked. Like, it, 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 it's, it all worked. And, yeah, I just can't really see anybody hating it unless you just hate DC and Blue Beetle or just in general. You're just like, I don't want to watch it or whatever. But I, I think anybody who goes in hating it walks out going, like, oh, shit, that wasn't bad. Like, that was... That was a good one. And that might be something, uh, a reason too, is because a lot of people kind of went in going like, this is going to suck. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Yeah. (laughs) Like tried to like, hey, let's put the corniest shit in the trailer. That way they come in not expecting shit. Yeah. Yeah. And it did have some corny moments, but to me, I didn't notice it because I loved it so much. But like. Too busy crying. (laughs) It had its moments. It had its moments. Um. But like my sister fed was like, ah, it was a little corny and stuff. And I was like, I can see it, but like, I loved it. I thought it fit so well. It was a fun movie. Um, uh, but what was I saying? All right, go ahead. Go off King. Uh, yeah, right. As soon as he loses yeah, his rhythm. I know. What, what the fuck was I saying? Um, Mexicans. but no, I, 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 I don't think anybody would Mexicans. hate the movie or anything. Yeah. I think you, I think you guys would like it. So I think you guys are going in. Highly recommend. Yeah. Oh, but they were hyping up before. Cause they were like, Oh, this is, you know, the best movie uh since the dark night you know and i was like oh y'all are doing too much like they were hyping it up before the movie came out like you know getting reviews like this is the best way so like it was i don't think they were doing the like this is going to be a shitty movie because they were already like <laughs> hyping it up like the way they did with the flash they did that with the flash like they had tom cruise stephen king that's so many people like praise the flash and the flash isn't bad it's just not amazing it was you know to me it was, it was seven out of ten it was great i, I, I liked it a lot but like all the praise they got, I was like, I don't get it. And with this one, it was like, oh, I get it. Like I, I really, really did love this movie. This one was better than the Flash. Yeah, it was. And that sucks to say because you have Michael Keaton Batman on the Flash, and you have the Flash, and it's a Flashpoint paradox. Which so is, if you took out Michael Keaton in that movie, would it? No. Was that really the only thing it had? Going no, no. For? What I'm saying is like the fact that you have Michael Keaton in the movie should have made the movie even better but but mm-hmm. it just feels like it, it didn't do anything else like it was just like oh it didn't add anything to the movie so you can take them out and it'd be the same yeah because like did they you watch did y'all watch the flash like, no oh. well his part was like cool but it was very like <laughs> you know minor in it uh but yeah blue beetle i recommend everybody go watch that movie y'all need to get, go take the kids it's, it's, it's a really great movie yeah i feel like pudge would like it yeah oh yeah he's gonna love it it Give me a good movie. Went up and the next day was immediately like, I want to get the scarab. So he got the scarab. And it goes on your back. You can actually put it on your back. Dude, we're watching the movie. Mid, mid-movie, he was like, hey. So we went over there. We went to go buy the popcorn bucket. Oh, yeah, because I was like, I'll buy you the popcorn bucket because it was like 40 bucks. And I was like, you know what? Shit. Because he was like, I'll buy it. And I was like, no, 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 no. I got you on this one. Don't worry about it. And they said 40 <laughs> bucks. And like, you know what? Go ahead and get it. Yeah. <laughs> In the middle of the movie. No, we can't even hear you, baby. So as much as you want to tell the story, uh, yeah, I'll tell you a little bit, but it's going to be a lot of like, un- so basically I told Gibby halfway in the movie, I was like, you should get the, the real scarab, you know, instead of getting that one, I'll buy you that one. Since I got you that one, he was just like, yo, yeah. But then it came out more than what I thought, so I had to pay the rest of us. It's like, all right, whatever. You're still making payment. Yeah, yeah, still making payment. It's on, it was on layaway. <laughs> you got it paid off. Extra 15%. Did y'all buy those shirts there too, or did y'all get those? There? No, this was at Walmart. I yep. bought it like three or four weeks ago before the movie came out. I bought it. And then I told my wife, like, I should get one. And they were like, nah. 
And then the day of Blue Beetle, they were like, why would we buy one? Let's all go buy one now. Like, That's your fault. I was like, I already got one. And then boss Sebastian went and he didn't even go see the movie. Well, we thought we thought it was gonna suck. That's why we. Didn't yeah, yeah. But I was like, I was like, this shirt looks dope, though. I was like, I like that blue beetle costume. It looks dope. So I was like, I still want to get it. And I was like, I'm still gonna watch the movie regardless. Like, I can't not go watch it and say it's bad. I'm glad I watched it. But you're it. not as a hardcore fan as I am. You got the scarab tattoo. Let me see. Is that the real scarab? Or no, that's just a that's a just beetle. Just a <laughs> that looks like the mummy one, the one that crawls in the in the skin and comes in. You seen the mummy? Yeah, that's what it looks like. No, well, that's what it looks like. It looks like it left the imprint <laughs> that right is there. Not what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Lyrical's been it's saying too much. Well, I love the mummy. So that's the reason why I got it. It was just I'm just like obsessed. You're a big comic. Obsessed with the just Egyptian culture in general. Oh, like, whenever, like even in fifth grade, we did like a, you had to pick a place to do a project what, what, on. What was the what 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 brings you like like pulls you into that Egyptian culture the most? Like what is it that's like that's like why I don't know. honestly it started with a book that my Close one of my teacher it was uh, it started with a book that my teacher had mm-hmm. um read to us and just it was this really inappropriate for our age group like love story book and she would just read us like a chapter or two and i just like ended up getting like just doing a bunch of research i just nerded out and, yeah, like, yeah just started doing a bunch of research on that and like just became obsessed for a little bit but that's what i'll do like i'll get stuck on one thing and then like i'll move on to so for a little while it was Egypt. And so how long like is that's your, like, crazy? How long is your like uh like your learning span? Like your it time varies. months, like, weeks? Yeah, some, it varies. Honestly, sometimes it could be a couple of weeks. Sometimes it could be like a year and a half or two or like I don't know. Just, just I'm depends. the same way though. Like I feel <laughs> yeah. like we both like will lock on to something, and then. It's like, okay, now that I know how to do that, like, what else? What's next? Because there was, yeah. like, a King Tut exhibit in Dallas, and I went there and saw, like, the mummies and stuff, and then I got, like, the little scarab. Oh, that's pretty cool. And that's stuff. Awesome. And, um, one of our patients, he used to live in Egypt for a while because he um, was, like, an oil company, mm-hmm. and so him and his wife lived there for years, and they brought me this gift, and it was a necklace. Um. And he was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it came from one of the tombs. Like, you know how, like, the tomb raiders used to go in there and, like, steal things and then sell them on the streets. Angelina Jolie. I swear that's the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> first thing that came to mind. He was like, so I'm pretty sure. And they were well, well off. off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I completely believed him. It, I mean, it could be completely false, but I have a necklace. I'll have a, that's pretty cool, though. No, like, if there are some, you can tell. You can tell when someone's like, oh, they, they. That's legit. Or someone's like, I just got it at the souvenir store. Here you go. No, so yeah, it's that's, clearly not like a plastic. No, 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 no of course. So that it earthbound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the <laughs> it's same exact one. The hey, babe, don't you got this one? This exact one at the house? The family heirloom? He's <laughs> like, no. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought on the Egypt one because I was about to ask you something on the... On the um, How old were you when you got into it? No, oh, no, I was going to ask, did you ever... I'm about to show and tell like, now. Three. Like nine or ten. Oh, wow. Did you ever do show and tell with like any Egyptian stuff at school? <laughs> Just show and tell? No. Like you never well, were so interested like, in like. It wasn't like, show and tell, but we had, like I said, we had to pick a, mm-hmm. a place and like chose Egypt and we made like the, the pyramid and you had to bring like the food and stuff. Oh, and, like, that's pretty do cool. a little presentation. So. Is it just bread? <laughs> what? It's like dates. <laughs> and uh, and bread. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whoa, man. Bad dates. I in uh in papyrus paper in science class one time and like I think it was my freshman year in science too uh one of my reports we had to do a report on the something about the pyramids but but some I don't remember what it was for science about the pyramids and had to do with whatever but like I wrote it on the spot and I wrote I remember watching like a small documentary about like the aliens and the pyramids and I remember talking to my mom my mom was telling me about the aliens and the pyramids so I just wrote a whole essay like just from memory and. She gave me like a 97 show. This was really good. And I was like, whoa, okay, this was dope. And because of that, I jumped more into like aliens and Egyptian. Because my mom told me about that. Mm-hmm. And the teacher was like, this was good. Like, like come not like telling me this is real, but giving me like, a, oh, like, how did you know about, you know, like, how do you know about this stuff, you know? And so because of that, I was like more interested to my mom about it. I was like, like aliens do have like a connection with the pyramids. And she was like, well, you know, she was giving me her conspiracies. But what do you feel? Um, do you have any feeling in connection with like Egyptian 
in the pyramids with aliens or anything like that? Like your personal thoughts. Th- yeah, yeah, personal um, thoughts. So there was, I don't remember where it was, but there was a museum that had one of the like blocks that they used to make the pyramids. Mm-hmm. And so one of the things was like try and push it, or it was like, I don't know if it's like a replica, like mm-hmm. the same yeah, yeah. weight and dimensions and stuff. They're like just try and move it, and like just trying to grasp like how they. With, Stack those. with their technology, limited technology back yeah. then, which I mean, we don't know exactly all what they had, but like actually making yeah. those and how like perfectly shaped and everything and yeah. intricate, like all of the different tunnels and stuff. And like, yeah, I mean, it makes you think. Yeah, yeah. Like it, that. it gives you, it, it makes you go like, well, the possibilities are out there. Because mm-hmm. I did see a guy who made, who even did an experiment where he showed how man made stuff back then could easily move the stuff and he, he showed like oh i watched that video yeah it was like a bigger like kind of like moving them around yeah yeah that yeah. guy <laughs> and that made me go like oh that was a that's kind of like but he's using like two by fours and shit and it's like well i don't think they had like yeah but it also makes me go like that doesn't that doesn't really like take away from how intelligent they were back then because there's a lot of technology a lot of culture that's lost mm-hmm. that we don't know about as well because well, then especially like with like the location of it all and w- getting all of the the supplies. Yeah, they had to yeah, move for it, sure, like, for yeah. sure. Way. Yeah, and then like using the stars to all, like you know. Like, oh yeah, yeah, to align everything perfectly. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. Oh yeah. And so, even though they're like, even though there's people who are like, well, you can do it like this. You still have to question, like you said, like the exact uh, location of the where it, it goes exactly to the stars. Not only that, like how everything underground like now like in the last few years they've come to find out how like the pyramids are all like you know it they all look like electric grids so like um the back of like chips you'll see like the little lines and it connects to like those little like blocks it's like battery or whatever like on the back of just chips like in the computer shit whatever yeah it shows the pyramids kind of the same <laughs> way where like it shows that I was thinking <laughs> potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about like Doritos. She's like, whoa, whoa Cool Ranch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the bumps on Doritos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What kind of Pringles? What are we, ta- what yeah, we talking about? Cool ranch. Shape. <laughs> yeah, what are we talking about? <laughs> Speaking of aliens, I want um, to, I, I want to actually hear your, your, your guys' thoughts on what, what do you guys think of um, the Malaysian flight? The Malaysian, what, 373? Malaysian flight 39? What, what is oh, it? Oh, with the lights that were circling yeah. around it. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah confirmed from the real satellite so the videos confirm that it's from the satellite they're just not confirming it if it's the malaysian flight like that we don't know what they're just we don't know what it is but it's an actual video from the satellite so the video is real they just don't know if it's that exactly flight. they don't know what happened exactly because again but even if it's not that flight like that's still what the fuck really happened there weird. Yeah, yeah like what the fuck happened there like it, it doesn't make sense have you seen it christina okay we'll watch it real quick we can cut this but right here so it was like a good 25, 30 seconds before it fucking disappeared. Uh, that's now, crazy. That is real satellite footage. That's the crazy part. That that's real. Like that's confirmed. Like they're all, yeah, that's real. We don't know what it is though. We don't know what happened. Like that. We don't. We don't. I don't know if that's a Malaysian flight, but that, like, it dates back to exactly when it happened. Like when it disappeared. So not the day like David Blaine missed it. <laughs> he went missing. <laughs> we start fucking just talking about that. Again. Uh, so, okay, what do y'all think of that? What, what are your thoughts on that? And speaking to the microphone. Why are they just releasing this footage? Um, my thoughts on it is is um, closer to disclosure. With all of the alien talk recently. Yeah. They're just starting to come out and being like, yeah, like it's starting to get us more. Like, please believe us, guys. Like They think it's more credible yeah. now that the government's admitted. To yeah, yeah. And for me, it just. Like this, this isn't CGI, I promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's what gets me because I'm like, I'm at a point now. Where I can see something, I'm like, fuck, I just don't know no more. Yeah, you can't. I don't yeah know. it's hard yeah. to believe anything. Yeah, I can't anymore. Even like, when you see a headline, like, it's like, is that even real? Yeah. Is it even I, worth me clicking mm-hmm. on that to just see like what the it other is? Day, wasn't there, I don't even know who this girl is, that little Tay or whatever. Like, oh my gosh, yeah. Like, oh, she's she died. dead. Yeah. Yeah. Her brother died. And then, mm-hmm. like, a day Come later, to find out. Like, oh, no. she, she wasn't. Die. Yeah. yeah. No, she's like, someone hacked my account. But now all of a sudden she's relevant. Everyone's talking about her. But it was like a TMZ headline mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. And like, immediately. They jumped on it immediately. Yeah, I was like, I was holy like, shit. That? That's thing? how it's credible. You know, quote unquote, when TMZ posted, you go, oh shit, someone actually died. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then within hours or the next day, it's like taken off. It's like, nah, no one. It was fake. Died. 
So he didn't die. It's a scary feeling, but I don't think all these things are impossible. Like and, and like I said, in the world we live in today, I don't think um, these crazy things couldn't happen now. Mm-hmm. I do think that something happened on the plane. I do think that there's way more than what we know. I know I'm such a conspiracy theorist. The truth right is out there. But like, before we get into like the fun part of the podcast, because I know we're like such in like a bummer side right now. <laughs> you make me want to cry. <laughs> the last part I do want to know, I do want, is because we haven't addressed it. And I know I'm a conspiracy podcast. We have a, some of the conspiracy podcasts. Um, and we need to jump on some music because there's a lot of things I want to talk to you about now since so many things have happened. I really want to talk about this. Uh, but the things in Maui, like, it, it breaks my heart. And I've been... I, it really has been hurting me. Like I was like, wondering if you were going to bring it up. Yeah, it's been it's been it it's been really killing me. It's been really breaking my heart because of like what's really going on in Maui and what's and what's happening on the shit that we're not even watching. Like for one, the amount of people dead in in the neighborhoods in Maui, they're not even letting us know exactly how much. But the residents there are letting us know it's almost close to a thousand, and most of those are children, mm-hmm. and we're. Not only that, let's let let's be clear on one thing. There is a reporter who went to Maui. He's a like a private reporter. Went over there and asked the governor, "Where are the children's bodies? Where are the missing children? Like, there's all these children that died. Where are the children? Where are the missing bodies? Like, does it make sense that we're going everywhere and there's no bodies, nothing? If everything and he won't answer, no, won't answer whatsoever. And then the next day, as he's live. On news, a guy behind him pops up. Did you see that video? Yeah. That guy pops up and he's like, hey, you so-and-so-and-so? And so? Were you supposed well, to be he here? and he calls like, him by his name. Yeah, he's like, he what like, the hey, fuck? I've been looking for yeah, I've been it. Look- but if you pay attention to it, and I didn't really pay attention until somebody broke it down, but like he's walking up to him like fast. Like yeah, he he's is. He's about to do something. Yes. And then he sees the camera yep. and then he like, like stops and then it's just like, hey, Nick. Or whatever, and then he starts like talking. Like you could tell if that camera wasn't there, something would happen. Because like, he was live, yeah, he was, it was scary. Like, he was walking up like fast. Nick I something. His name is Nick something. Gibby. Yeah, it's very Type very crazy. Nick. Like he's live. Like it's on the news, and the guy just walks up, and yeah, he stops when he notices the camera. Yeah, you but could the, tell it catches him off guard because then he's like kind of like looking like oh shit. Yeah, Nick Maui reporter, and if it doesn't pop on there, go to Duck Duck Go. Um. And. Yeah, it's just a scary thing to actually know, like, they're someone following them for trying to actually get answers, like, actually trying to figure out what's going on in Maui, and there's people, right there, give me that yeah, one. Yeah, that one right there. Check this out. We'll cut this too soon. Yeah, yeah, put the audio. I can't see both. Turn the screen so your mom can see, and then we'll cut, we'll cut this stuff on the podcast. But look how that guy was. Yes, it yeah. is. Yes, uh, that was one of the questions that... Uh, it's like I said, it's been burning in a lot of people's minds here. And the room stops right there. I've been trying to reach you. It's not you on X. Um, we're supposed to be uh, meeting with people here. Who, what victims have you got? Okay, yeah. So this is this is so you're seeing this live right now. People actually track they yeah. track me down. And you're staying in a tent. You said you're coming and staying in a tent. Uh, I'm not taking up any resources here. Yes, you are. No, I want to stay with it. I don't know how you live with yourself, man. You've seen the devastation. You've seen the people. I can see you tearing up because you know how much these people are suffering. No, you're 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 literally here. You just. They cut off the sound or so I, what is guys, it, what is this, is, this is really dude, this is what I, I'm getting I'm getting chased. This is what's going on. Why are you getting chased? Because the day before, he kept asking the governor, where's the children? Where's the children's bodies? Where are the missing children? There's all these missing families that lost their children. Where are the bodies? Like, doesn't make any sense. And the governor was like, shut them off. Like, 
So he's been saying there's been people following him now. All right, stop it, give me. All right, so if you guys actually want to hear every single thing, we're going to put an exclusive episode because this was a long, long part. <laughs> so this next half of this episode is going to be the fun part. And uh, join us next week with Freddie when we continue the conspiracy talk and for alien talk. But now let's actually include our wives in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So um, are, did y'all have a game or did you guys have any... any? I know maybe... maybe did you have a game, babe? Yes. Okay. So, I don't know the type of game my wife brought. Y'all got to talk into the mic. I don't know the type of game my wife brought uh, for us to play, but apparently we're going to be writing and stuff. I'm going to give Gibby the my phone so that he can ask questions that he wants to ask us. Okay. And see who gets the answers right. Okay. Let's do that. Like just couples. overall? Or mm-hmm. Every like, couple? Well, like, like, how do I? You can hear, you hear me? Sorry. Um, uh, I'm thinking what, like, I think we do it at the same time and then we show each other's answer, see if we got it right. Like oh, so we oh, answer okay. for each other? Yeah, what do we, like, what do you mean? Like, so. Like, let's say give me I answer for you. What color? And she answers for Christina. What's your favorite or color? Like, oh, no, I got to no, ask no, my no, wife's favorite color. Let's do boys versus <laughs> girls. Let's do boys versus girls. What do you mean? Like, okay. If You're Gibby, not elaborating. Okay, listen, if Gibby says, like, what color does <laughs> your wife's like? And then me and Christina write our color that we like. And then y'all write what color y'all think we like. And then we show each other and see who got it Okay. Right. So we just you write both saying? answers. Our answers so and your see answer. who gets more right between guys and girls? Exactly. Oh, okay. okay. I got you. Let's do you it. Got yeah, we got you. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Well, since you're on the TFTI, while we get this question there, while we pass this around, uh, Christina, name your favorite movie. Go. Ooh. Um, probably Knight's Tale. With 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 the Martin Lawrence? No, that, no that's, 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 uh, that's Black Knight. <laughs> with with uh, uh, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger, the yeah. Joker. Wow. <laughs> I was like, damn, you like Martin Lawrence like that? Okay. <laughs> All right. I was like, wait, did I say the completely? No, you're right. Movie? And babe, what about you? What's your favorite movie? Oh, okay. Well, now we know Christina. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Fuck. <laughs> you have to wait for the question. Well, you got a lot of favorite movies. I do. Okay. Which one do you think is my favorite movie? I'm not going to say it now. Well, since she already mm-hmm. answered, let's see if you get it right. Put you on the spot. Her movie? Mm-hmm. I was going to say the... But what What kind? Like comedy or what? Just favorite movie. Just, yeah, favorite, just favorite movie, movie right? Oh. Okay. That's tough because she like likes Harry I Potter, mm-hmm. and then Family Man, the Family Man. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a it Christmas movie. Like that it. doesn't count. Okay. Well, she likes Harry Potter like a lot. So that's what I would have put. Rush Hour. Rush. I know, but I don't know which one we were going with. <laughs> Not at the Roxbury. Trust me, I know Rush Hour. That's all you. Okay, but be here. Put on. I'm already right. Here you go. Here you pick which. There is a bunch of questions. Oh, uh, so. they won't be able to hear them though. Oh, That's I said. yeah, you can't hear him. Yeah, give him the mic. Give somebody, give, and then pass the mic. All right, all right, all right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the TFTI podcast. We're doing a question, we're doing a couple's night, and we will be asking a bunch of questions for y'all today. Uh, first question, uh, let me Were see. Eating or what? No, oh, got you. It. Well, I thought there was like cookies coming. Yeah, same. I do have cookies. Prove it. Told them to bring it up here. Bring some take cookies. Abby. Um. Give you. Well, give you learns how to read. Abby, <laughs> can you bring cookies? <laughs> That's a tough one right there, buddy. Chocolate chip. The chocolate chip one from Costco, please. Oh, I got one going. All right. Gabagool. What did you say? There you go. All right, this one's for like the gentleman. Uh, they're gonna be asking. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, so wait, we. I think we're all answering, right? We're all answering. Yeah, just say the question. We're all answering, like. Oh, uh, for the partner. Them? Partner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're all answering. So go ahead. So he knows that we're well, gonna get this on one. So who? Yeah. All right, ask the question. All right, go all right, all right, all right. Uh, what is something that you do that I wish you didn't? Okay, that's a question for everybody. 
what's a question? What's a, so I got to answer what I do that I think. Yeah, yeah. So what did you do that you think that you think Christina wouldn't want you to do? Oh, and then no, she answers no. It, it says, "What is something you? What is something I'm you so do crazy. that I, I wish you didn't?" Okay. Like, for example, if you're asking mom this, you'd be like, "What? What? What's something that you do that I don't like you doing?" Are we retarded? I'm trying to understand. I don't. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna say it again, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. What? Retarded? For twenty points, what is something you do that I wish you didn't? Question mark. Okay, so, so then. So you write the answer that. See, you see how confused I am. So, are you trying to guess what? That's I what I'm wondering. Yeah, that's what I'm trying are to figure out. Are we trying out? to compare to see if we both write okay, the same just thing? Write what your answer is, what and is then something you like verbally guess it. Maybe. So I have to write what I think you don't want me to do. You guys want to pick a different question? <laughs> Fuck. No, because this is a good question, but <laughs> I just don't know question. how to. I was already thinking. Of are we not I'm smart at all? Mm-mm. I feel like we should answer it like. I'm, Give me, explain know. this like I'm a third grader. Wait, we need to all right, so <laughs> <laughs> don't put this on. Don't put this on. <laughs> they don't need to see it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's gonna all be right, a short so, episode because I went on for thirty minutes about aliens. Y'all didn't cut me off. Yeah, we're an hour and ten. <laughs> That's gonna be a Patreon I, I exclusive. Got, when people get we're quiet, it's not because. It, <laughs> <laughs> so what, you're never so interested the, in what I'm saying. So the question is, <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. So. I asked the question. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was like, so do I answer for y'all too? Wait, so. <laughs> wait, I, so I asked the question. Yeah. yeah. You, wait, do I answer, do I ask the question okay, to a specific group? It, let's just do it like the girl, like give it to them. So Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then, okay, yeah okay, okay. That's what I was thinking. Okay, I was okay, confused. Okay, so we'll take turns. Mom confused me. And I was like, so we're all we both it? write the same thing. So this is like what I actually you know, think of you, and so then you try and guess like what my answer is. Gonna okay, be. so I had to guess what, what you is, don't what, like me to do. Yes. Okay, I have the same so thing. Write, I guess what. So then you guys don't. Okay, what is something you do that I wish you didn't? So only y'all could get a point if you get it right. I'm confused. Let's just, so we'll just, just keep just switching off. So that. this one's yeah. for points the girls. Or anything. I'm just gonna answer the question. Yeah. Let's just answer the question. What do you do for points or anything? For one point, what is something you do that I wish you didn't? All right, all right, all right. Okay. All right. You got to MC it, Gibby, while we're all doing shit. All right. Yeah. All right, Christina and Lurk, you guys go first. Hey, right, I wrote, like, random quotes. Random quotes. <laughs> Is it that much? Does That's he crazy. do that much that Christina's like, damn? Oh, so your answer. Oh, I did it wrong then. I did. Say it. What I thought you, like. Wouldn't like? No, like, I don't know. Like, give shitty back rub. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is supposed to be like that. But, Wait, so you don't want? Okay, so basically, your answer was random quotes. Yeah, that's like this that is something that you gets think on her nerve. That that gets on her nerve. Yeah. That you're like, okay, well, he did played it right, and you yeah. played it right as well. You just was much more in the, you know, you kind of stuck him in the knife right there. But you know, there go now. You know, to improve on back rubs. You know, it's a it's therapy session purpose. for everybody. Sure, but if buddy. I cry, they stop asking whenever you do a bad job. All right, y'all can share my. Oh yeah, go give them my okay. together here then. No, for blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. There goes like I don't want to play no more. <laughs> there goes like all right, we went too deep with this one. <laughs> Who played? Oh Who man, what is yours? All right, mine was uh, leave clothes on the floor. Oh, I said biting your nails. Oh, yeah, that is one that she fucking I hate hates. when he bites his nails. She catches me quick, too. That was a good one. Actually, I, you know what? I wish I would have thought of that I one. Because that no, one is honestly. I was going to write that one, but but you know it's biting yeah, the nails Yeah, you definitely get mad at that I more. I hate when you bite like your every, nails. Like every. So then. How do I. Like, so I'm, I'm very confused. So me and Lyric will get a point. Then, no, so then nobody gets point. No one gets a point. No one gets a point. All right. Wait. Okay. So let's get this straight. Yeah, nobody gets I point. ask a specific group. Of men, I mean men or female. Mm-hmm. I asked that question to no, them. Go back and forth. Uh huh. I'm confused. So yeah, the next one, give, give yeah, it to us. Yes. So we gotta just just Wait. your next question. Just ask the question. Okay, just ask. It's just so confusing. I know. Yeah. Hey, say in your voice, say in character, Gibby. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, well, that's just confusing. Or whatever you did. 
This is confusing. Ah. Where are the cookies? <laughs> Where? This question. Didn't we six. have little gremlins that are bringing up cookies over here? Do you see it on? All right, all right, all right. For one point. What? Do you ever turn it on? No, because of the mics. Go ahead. This is gonna this is gonna reveal a lot about your character. What size shoe do I wear? I was thinking Gibby. Okay, so then <laughs> Okay, I got it. So then well, y'all answer, like put your shoe size no, and so then mine. Same answer. thing. Yeah, same thing. Just answer both. You put your size. You answer no, you answer Christina's size, and I answer your size. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Put your answer so you know if it's right. You gotta guess you gotta get you gotta guess what the shoe size is, and if you get you it right, you get a point. Christina's size shoe and she puts your size shoe and That's see if just, it's correct. No, just so put, why didn't put we both. do that with the other question? Yeah. Am I right or am I wrong? The qu- so here's how this works. Yeah, the other they, one we should have just done the, the same other, way. The couple asks what what they're gonna put down what they think their shoe size shoe shoe size is, <laughs> and then the other one's gonna well, do the same thing. Yeah, yeah look, and if you guess just it, put your size and my size on there too. And if you guess that it way right, I know if I got it right, you get a point. Okay. If you get if you get the uh, if you get the size, size right, yes. Put your size All right, we're size. starting the game now. This is the official one. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's crazy. Okay, I got mine already. This reveals a lot about your character. Y'all writing a, a whole lot of lot for numbers. Twelve, because I know he has big. They gotta beat. be fancy and shit. They're That's putting what they're a, writing. A headliner, the date. They're writing in cursive. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. A border. We got the two men are done. Been done. Okay. And now the females. All right, go ahead, babe. What's your size and what's my size? Your size is eleven. Mm-hmm. Ten and a half. It's ten and a half. Damn it. We, it's because you're always changing. Man. No, we stuck to ten and a half because remember we thought it was eleven, but it's ten and a half. That's crazy. I knew it was ten and a half, yeah. but I went with the eleven. What size is my seven? No. What is it? Eight and a half. Damn, I was off. You I know thought it was I seven. No, you're small for that. Like, I it's have a seven. almost the same size as your mother. Oh, well, I feel real bad then. She thinks she, she has big feet. Shoes. She doesn't even have big feet. She does what she thinks. All right, y'all turn. <laughs> okay. Lyrical's is 11 and a half and Christina's is a nine. Christina? I put 11 and a half or 12 in Nike. Nike yeah, that's small. true. Okay, well, that counts then, because it's still. <laughs> and 10. 10 for me. So, but well, it varies, I've never so. seen you buy a 10. Most like tennis shoes and stuff are 10. Yeah. Some some of them I can All right, all right, all right. So, so who, got, who got a point? I'm very confused. Lyrical got one. Nobody got points. And that was it. There got one. Oh wait, nobody got no. Christina got one because she got your. Yeah, she got. Oh, yeah. So Christina, yeah, so Christina right. has one point. Christina is in point. the lead with a one point. Yeah, how are we gonna answer it this all time? Right, all right, all right, all <laughs> right. Uh, doing different shit every what, time. What, ladies and gentlemen, for one point, what is my favorite restaurant? <clears throat> oh shit! Favorite restaurant. All right, turn. Uh, favorite restaurant. All right, everybody, write it and then put on your favorite restaurant as well. That's tough. Cause what's my favorite restaurant? I don't know. No, what mine is. What is. I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't even know what mine is. Like if she says it, and I'm like, what's you know your what favorite? What's what's the other person's favorite restaurant? The first one. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. The other one. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Just ruin the footage. Mm. It's tough. Do you want? I don't even know if I'm gonna stick with that. I don't know if that's my favorite one, to be honest. So I'm not sure if I want to stick with that answer. Oh, I'm not sure. Like I'm like debating. Like, is that my favorite restaurant? Maybe it's not. Is it? So then I write hers and mine. Yeah, you write yours and hers. Damn, I don't know. I got a fresh batch of cookies and. Restaurant is tough because can you is. just like can restaurant as as well food, like food place? Because it's not fast food, right? It's actually, you're talking yeah. about you got to talk. Yeah, in you. general, right? You're saying a place to go sit down and eat there. Any just, just place. Or you your favorite fast place to go food, eat, right? Your favorite like, place to go eat. Yeah, right. Yeah, because the moment you say restaurant, I'm like, oh fuck, what's expensive that my wife likes to go? To? <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, that's what, what I'm favorite thinking. place? So just fair place, favorite place, favorite place, favorite place to eat. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Go first. Okay. Olive, Olive Garden. Garden. <laughs> Wingstop. Spell A L L of Garden. Spell right. All right. That's for you. D U A Y. 
You like Olive Garden, Christina? No, no, no I know. You're wing stop, Christina, at Olive Garden. Christina, what did you get? Um, well, come on, babe. <laughs> I bet for him is either B Dubs or Wing Stop. Okay. And they're for me any place with good tacos. Damn. Wow. I, last really time I checked, Lyrical, <laughs> Olive Garden, all the of Garden does not have tacos. Because it's not good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, one another point for Christina. She has two right now. Wow, she knows you more than you know her so far. Yeah. Christina in the lead with two points. All right, baby, you ready? No, hold on. She's changing her answer. I know. Come on, she baby. She cheated. She saw yours. She did cheat. Come on. Cheater. There you go. All right. Uh, for you, I put Coulter's, and for me, Wingstop. What'd you put? I put wing stop or any wing spot, and then I put barbecue place. Hey, I told you. Cultures. I didn't even I know that shit was still that's why I didn't write it. Yeah, there's only the one. Thing. It's just fucking one that exists, there's only and that's the one, one that she likes to fucking go to. Mm-hmm. Cultures barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking random. That's it's why, because like it's only. <laughs> like, was it, do you tell them back <laughs> yeah. in time to go, or what? <laughs> yeah. Dave, you're embarrassing me. You could have said hi. You could have said Ryan's next, huh? Ryan's steakhouse. Ask water? Your water, please. All right, next question. Next question for me. Uh, okay, Heinz Barbecue uh, next. These are a lot. A lot of these and are very dirty. Have Some, you ever been to Heinz Barbecue? Heinz? Uh huh. Yeah. It's good, right? What is no my. Was my what is my favorite childhood TV show? Oh shit! For one favorite point. childhood TV show. Oh, okay, I got. Well, well, how? What do you mean? What, what's childhood? Like little, little, like under ten, under or 10. just like when you were home, like before it's eighteen, you know, seventeen. I yeah, because I used to watch like cartoons and shit even whenever I was it's just like, no longer a child. Sure, so everything up I'm to saying. when you and, moved out of your parents' house. All right, so anything before eighteen. What was your favorite childhood show? Anything you you watched before hmm. you moved out of your parents' house. Oh, so that's teenage. Hmm. This one's a little a lot better. Okay, I got I got think I think. Oh, uh, I don't know. This is a tough one. Wait, this is when you were a kid. Well, anything yeah from a kid. Anything I got a good your one. Next favorite one. one. From kid, anything before you left your house, or anything before you took a cookie. Mine, I don't. I'm taking a cookie. Know. I didn't know mine either. I'm trying to think. I was like, what was? Because I watch so much fucking yeah. TV constantly. Same. Like I don't think I had like a favorite TV show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same. Regular show. No one like childhood. Like yeah, that's really like, like your childhood. Yeah, that was yeah, my yeah I watch that now. Yeah, so yeah. that's where I go to sleep up and mine. watching that. I guess just anyone that you you just put the one that you feel for. For Christina, mm-hmm. I know. And she'll put in if you if you can name one. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that. If not, then no. Yeah, then we'll gonna be tough. say. I'll yeah. say mine, and then you say yours, and then we'll reveal to see if I got it right. Yeah. So say yours. Like what I put for me. Yeah. Okay. So wait for you. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on. Then let me write mine so we. Can. You got yours done then. Yeah. For you, right? Yeah. Put that. No, for for you then, right? Well, then for, for both, right then? Or what are we doing? No, yeah, yeah she yeah, does it for both. you, and then you say it, and then she'll reveal. Okay, how about right we just then. do one of your favorite t- childhood TV shows? Because I feel like and y'all are being like, that's fine. Like, I don't have a favorite, like a sp- specific one. So I'm just like, whatever, which whatever, whatever one just pops up in your mind. And if I guess that right, then yeah. <sighs> all right. All right, narrator. Yeah, um, we got Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, got Matthew. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, go ahead. All right, go. What was yours? Gargoyles. Oh, that's a good one. I said friends or gargoyles. What? No fucking way. <laughs> that is holy shit. I didn't put mine down. So I did get one. Put mine down real quick. That's crazy. I got one. Uh, shit. I don't even know what the fuck to answer for me. Um. Yeah, that's a tough one. What you got, lyrical? Tyler Perry for sure. But. <laughs> Any of the Medias hit, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, Meet the Browns was actually not that bad show. So am I supposed to just write yours? Or am I supposed to write mine too? You write you, you his. Write, hit okay. mine, and you then can put he'll yours if you tell want. You. But I'll tell you. I'll put mine right here just so. 
Fuck, I don't know. I'm curious to know what you put. What did you write? Because I I seriously cannot think of anything. I wrote Fraggle Rock. Oh. You know, I was going to say that as a joke, (laughs) but I didn't know like how far back we were taking it. I was either going to say Ninja Turtles or Fraggle Rock. (laughs) I used to dig Fraggle Rock. I didn't watch that one, but that That was right before I moved out. It was just Mm. because he showed introduced it to him oh. and it was like something that they used to watch together oh so. johnny quest would have been another one. Oh yeah i didn't think about that johnny one johnny yeah. quest i love johnny quest used to watch johnny quest yeah, all yeah. right i got Babe. the dvd box set i wrote a lot you wrote a lot yeah culture i didn't write too much for you because you don't you didn't watch shit <laughs> oh I, you didn't have a tv in your room <laughs> i thought you were i thought you you, about, uh, you i don't know how you lived there was one that i did one time i spent the night at her house and I was like, where's the TV? She goes, what's the TV? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> We're going to read books. Yeah, I was like, holy shit. This was a time where I had to download something from That's crazy. my computer to my phone in order to watch something at her house. So I was like, fuck. <laughs> oh, damn. And he had it right next to the nightstand. Yeah, time. I was like 2009. I was like, fuck, man. <laughs> okay, for you, I wrote down Secret Life of a Teenage Whatever. Yeah, but that's not a kid show. No, well, it was your childhood I mean, show. Yeah, you, yeah, you it was. You fucking watched the shit out of that show. Yeah, and then that's it. That's, that's what I wrote for you. Mm. That you oh, didn't. Damn. SpongeBob, babe. I used to watch SpongeBob like said. crazy. Oh. I always talk about. That's all I would watch was SpongeBob. I was trying to think of the cartoon that it was, that's but I was, was like, that's what I said. Thank you, son. All right, SpongeBob. Well, I put Secret Life because that was the one that you got me. All you were right, always. All right, all right. That was whenever I got. So who got a point? But that's because when I met you, you were like, you didn't get into. You weren't into anything. You're like, I don't watch anything. I was. You don't watch nothing. You were like, no. But when I was a kid, it was SpongeBob. Okay. If you paid attention. So the winning couple is lyrical and <laughs> No, wait, what what did you get for me? For you I got Batman Beyond. Mm-hmm. I got Power Rangers. That's a good show. Okay, that was good. Uh those little tunes. What? Tune uh, those little tiny three tunes. Tiny, tiny tunes. tunes. Yeah, I did watch tiny tunes. Uh Reese's. I didn't know Reese's. Reese's. show, but yeah. So Ashley, careful with the camera, baby. Reese's. Mm-hmm. Reese's yeah. puffs? Reese's and that's all I put. <laughs> I had Ninja Turtles, Street Sharks, and I had I was Batman, gonna put Ninja though. Turtles, but I was like, eh. I did. I did have some, I had some shows that you like you didn't know like uh, biker mice. Uh, did y'all watch that one? <laughs> Nobody fucking knows. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. Street Brian Reynolds is remaking it. What Street Sharks? Biker mice from outer space. I knew Street Sharks. I love Street I Sharks. I used to watch Alvin. Vin Diesel used to play with the toys. He was the guy that did the commercials. That he was introducing the Street Shark toys. You ever seen that? This is Hammerhead. He was like a young Vin Diesel. He was like when he was like first actor. <laughs> really? young Vin yeah, yeah, he was playing a young that. Vin Diesel. Yeah, he's like, yo, this is so and so and so. He was so. actually a lot older. Yeah, he was playing with the toys and everything. Before Anyways, Fast and Furious. Oh, way before this was like nineties. Wow, this is a commercial. This is uh, a gig. Right, so that's how he got his big. Right. Yeah, it was from from like doing like toy Street stuff. Like, it was all just right, a next commercial. question. All right. She's like, enough about Vin Diesel. Next so question. we have lyrical with one point. Yes, and then I have Christina one with two or three. What is it? Yeah, she's got multiple. Points. I have one. How much do you have? I thought you were zero. Curious. You have one right. <laughs> you just got one right. This one. Okay, one right. So it's one, one, and I have one two because the, the, the super one. life counted. No, because that's the one that you one. watched. One. Yeah, but I didn't no. write down. But, yeah. but that one counted. I didn't so write it's down one, one, one and then one, two. You got one. All right, go for it. I got two. You What's got no. Three. You do not got two. Yeah, you got one. No, I got this <laughs> one right, and then I got the one before. Which one? What was the one before? I got three of them. Coulters. Oh yeah, that should be worth like ten points. Yeah, because the fuck would have picked cultures. <laughs> You're lucky that I'm right, simple. Two, two one, <laughs> and, and then fossil. one two. So it's, it's tie rope apparently. All right, so um, what? All right, all right, all right. For one point, what is your partner's celebrity crush? I feel like that's an easy one though. Yeah, that's an easy one for your dad. Like currently though. Currently. currently, currently, like right now, if Christina would see him in front of her face, she would go in a heartbeat. Well, there's like plenty of those. <laughs> I'm trying to think of. I'm actually interested to see who she who you would pick for her. I don't know if she would pick this one though, but this is the only one that like recent that comes to my mind. I got two. All right, all right, all right. Mom, do you need that mic back? Your mom's gonna pick the most like. Basic one, my fit my. But, but if you're gonna talk, you need to talk to the mic, mom. I heard you. I'm just okay. saying. Okay. You're gonna pick oh, the most basic one of mine. Fate, my my celebrity crushes. Morgan Freeman. Morgan <laughs> it Freeman. Would be, uh, Is it really? <laughs> no, that's hilarious. <laughs> wow! Happy birthday. I don't even know how to fucking spell his last name. <laughs> Daniel Lopez. <laughs> 
How do you spell it? Is it with an S? You got it down, babe? You got the basic ones that you're going to write down? I don't know how to spell their Why does it always look like she's writing paragraphs? Right? And there's like one word. On she's like this. Like, <laughs> number two. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying. I was like, bro, you know they're writing long ass time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cartoon at that Spongebob episode and it was just the <laughs> <laughs> that's what you look like right yeah oh his uh, essay yeah the there. essay for the driving school or whatever yeah. <laughs> it's just the uh, fancy and it's like really it's like really well like, yeah. it's like really fancy um, and then his pencil breaks I don't even know who mine would be I'm interested to know who yours would be Has too. Has he told you ever before? Like that's that's a woman. I know that. I don't think I've ever <laughs> said like that. I, like, I feel like we were on crush. the episode. You said it before. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think I've heard it. You, you said it before an episode one time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. You did. I remember it too. Remember I'm not gonna say it, it though. Whoopi Goldberg. I don't no. remember ever talking <laughs> about her on no. here. That's exactly what he said. Oh, you how the fuck you get them all who? right, Christina? I'm not telling you wait till she pulls it up. I think it's the one that. Uh, where has who said that? No, don't say nothing. You wait. I know. Yeah, you I, know. Wait. I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. And you agree. Right. Is everyone ready? I remember you agreed to it. Is you everyone ready? Yeah. Yeah. Are yeah. you ready? Do you have it? What? Wait. They haven't even. Do you have yours ready? I don't fucking know. Do now I need to write I'm down nervous. mine? Or no. Do I write just write down mine. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I forgot all yours. Baby. Are we done? <laughs> okay. Who is yours? Like who I thought for you? No. Who you? No. For you. Me. Or oh. yeah, you. Who's your celebrity crush? Currently. Yeah. No. <laughs> Living or dead? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to think of. Albert Einstein. Like, he, like, currently. Like, yeah, she, like most after obvious, Oppenheimer. Like, <laughs> Jason Momoa. See, and I thought that was oh, too okay. obvious, but that's who I was. Hey. No. I knew that was Christina's. I knew it. That was going to be an obvious, but yeah, I could see that though. All right, what about Lyricals? Lyrical, who did you pick? Who? I don't fucking know. Like, that's what, like, I don't. I All right, let's see if this Johnson memory. Zoe Saldana or Rosario Dawson. Rosario I Dawson would have probably been the one that I would pick. That's I who knew I was it. Thinking of first, but then I was like, oh, I don't know if she's like relevant enough right now for him to even. No, think that's of her. He's but, like, that's like, always there. Yeah. Yes. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's always relevant Man, to me. Cr- I should have fucking said it. Like <laughs> I, I was mean, trying to think because no. it was like, what did I agree with you on? I but the moment the moment she put out I, when he said, I was like, I already know who it is, and when she put, I was like, fucking yeah, that's the only one that I could think of. But I was like, no, because that might be the wrong answer because no. you said that's who it is yeah. and i was like fuck now i'm overthinking it no because you said it before and i remembered i was like oh yeah okay babe. all right all right all right Damn it, she keeps getting them right <laughs> Did you that's get, crazy so you got one right though yeah all um, right me or you <laughs> who's your who's your celebrity crush my oh, celebrity crush. yeah who's yours romeo santos that's what i put and then the guy who from the, the girls that? or whatever the, the bad girls whatever the fuck Ooh. the girls are the one with christina hendrix that Mexican dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That the one Mexican, from Good that, Girls. The Good Girls. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Whoa, the Elizabeth man. Mama. The little short Mexican mm-hmm. dude. Elizabeth Mama? Mm-hmm. You don't watch the show. You don't know who she's talking about. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, the tattoo? Yes, that oh, one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bing Bing that's Bing who Bing. that Santos yeah. guy is? That's, no, that's Romeo Santos. Who the fuck is Romeo Santos? Uh, from uh, Aventura. Right. That, Aventura guy. The main guy. Reggaeton from like fucking 15, 20 years ago. Back he whatever cultures was relevant. Yeah, yeah, 20 years ago. Yeah. He's a reggaeton person. Yeah. Cultures barbecue. <laughs> culture. I <thought> culture <laughs> was relevant. Sorry, it's not reggaeton, but the <laughs> They have supper specials. Okay, yours. Well, one is Aubrey Plaza, <laughs> and yes. then Allison Brie is another one. Yeah, I forgot her. Um, I put Aubrey Plaza is Aubrey who Plaza. I would have Yeah, I would have picked That's like Plaza. automatic. Like, it's so easy. Yeah. She is one. Uh-huh. Um, uh, Haley Steinfeld is another one. Oh, I didn't know that one. Uh, <laughs> he's just stop. gonna keep going. Yeah. Just, just stop. <laughs> I put uh, Christina Hendrick. Who? I put, <laughs> I put. There's so many fucking hot uh, chicks out there. What's her name? You Ke- probably got it right. Which one? <laughs> Kel Heises or something. The, the, what? Your girl, the one that was Hitler's singing with girlfriend. Kanye West. <laughs> oh, Skylar Gray? No, the one with the blonde Kel hair. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Are you speaking in German, man? <laughs> Heinz, Heinz. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Fucking aggressive. The Kel, Kel oh, Trick. Like, who? Do you know who? Oh, you talking about Carrie Hilson? That sure. one. I love You're Carrie Hilson, bro. I'm in love with Carrie Hilson. She's bad. Really? I just love her short hair. Like with yeah. her with short hair, I'm like sold, done, done. She's bad. 
That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but Ari Plaza is always going to be my number one, though. Celebrity crush. Hers, I knew it was going to be Romeo Santos. Oh, oh yeah, man. I hate that I didn't just go Guess with yours? my instinct. Uh, you're, you're mad that you didn't know what yours was? Well, Christina? because I was overthinking it. <laughs> He's like, fuck, I knew that was the answer. <laughs> Damn it. All right. What's next? He said I got the next one for sure. For sure. What is it? Letting y'all know uh, minus Anne Hathaway. (laughs) Yo, I know that one. Oh, yeah. That's his celebrity crush. Your phone's bugging. Sorry. It it zoomed out, so now I have to, like, really look in. You need help, buddy? Hello. Moles. Sound it out. <laughs> um, uh, she has he's so chill. I don't think like he's grown up, you know. I know he's <laughs> like aged. Yeah, like just in the few months. Who are, yeah. Okay, what does he look uh, like? Does he look like me or has his? I know. All right, all right, all right. And Abby, uh, I'm a. I see more of. Really? Yeah. And what about Gibby? He said, like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Some milkman. Yeah. That's Wrong crazy. Daddy. Gibby looks a lot Wrong like the daddy. neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Whoa, man. <laughs> All right. Good next question, Gibby. I said, uh, Gabriel. <laughs> he looks more like Jesse than this. He does. I've noticed he that does. same too. I've yeah. noticed that too. I'm like, he reminds me of my brother. Yeah, he does. Uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Wait Nothing a minute Alright 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 For a point What is my biggest fear oh, Okay And I mean Ooh. my biggest fear Not no. <laughs> He's like mine Gibby's biggest fear is <laughs> Spiders That's crazy <laughs> I don't fucking know You don't know what Christina's biggest fear is I know dad's <laughs> I don't even know mine yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um I'm gonna go I don't even with, know mine. Um like just overall fear. Yeah. Or just like things we're scared of, like how you said spiders. Like your biggest fear. Like not like I don't know. <laughs> um like a physical thing or just like something in general, like fear of Yeah. Like I a sim- I just thought of like a Being scenario. Like a what? Scenario. Oh, okay, so that's uh, what I was thinking okay. too. Mm. Anything like, m- like me- metaphorically, physically, mentally, aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the same pretty Captain chill. Hook. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I, 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 I don't know. Whoopi yeah, Gold. Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, I don't know. know either. Your wife's not scared of anything. I don't know. That is not true. Okay. All right. Well, you were screaming you at a spider. That one time. Spider? Yeah, remember uh, there was a spider in Abby's restroom and you were like, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> that was just to scare her, to let her know she needs to clean her restroom. That was it. I've never like seen her. That's crazy. Scared? Get scared of stuff. Oh, she's tough. I'm trying to think of... She's like, I got a list for you, Lyrical, for sure. <laughs> 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 Take your pick. Doorknobs. <laughs> the <kinds> sun. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaning. Freshly cut grass. He's like, oof, yeah, that's for sure. Okay. You want me to go first then? Yeah, y'all okay. go. I put down snakes for you, babe. Because we were watching Indiana Jones all the time, and you were like, oh my God, if I was a <laughs> snake, never. Oh, it'd be done for me. You were like over I was like, I guess it's snakes. Spot yes, on. but it's really rats. I'm oh, yeah. scared of rats. Mm-mm. I was you like, like y'all are talking about like things that like spook you. No, anything no, in general. I wouldn't like, guess that. Anything. But I knew that one. That She's not scared you, of shit. That's why I said you. that. Like, that's why I was like, it's just fucking yeah, snakes or something. Of, no, but mom is de- de- mom is deathly afraid is. of mice and like yes. rats and rodents because yes. like okay. literally anything. Like, I'm like, I try to like show but, her like a cute video of mice and she's like, get that away from me. She's like, pulls out like a cross and stuff like that. Like, yeah, <laughs> starts <laughs> screaming. But, Holy water. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm a thrill seeker, so I'm not scared <laughs> of anything besides rats. That's why I was yeah, like, mice. Oh. and rodents. So what is yours? What's mine? Heights. Yeah. Heights. Yeah, He's easy. afraid of heights. I'm afraid of heights. I start to get like dizzy. Like, if I get too close, I start, I start to like. Remember we were at a balcony oh. on this like 
this uh, pen- ah, the, just thinking about it. The penthouse. Yeah. And I was outside on the balcony. Oh, and blood too. He can't like see so much blood. Uh, then he I got what? Nah. I used to be okay with it, but I yeah. used to make fun of my step. Well, my mom's ex boyfriend was my stepdad for a while. Because he couldn't see gory stuff. And so we were watching Dawn of the Dead one time. And I was like laughing at him. I was like, you what a fucking pussy. And then now I'm like, some blood. I'm like, oh, I can't. Like, nah, it's like, nah, eh. So what would yours be? Let's see if I got it right. Oh, shit. Like, uh, yeah, like a little bit of blood. Yeah. Like I don't know what type you, of. Yeah, like, I'm not afraid of tampons. With, like, yeah, <laughs> that's what kind of threw me off. So like, now I'm just thinking spiders. of things that you would get scared of. I put like like something emotional, like something happening to the kids. Like, yeah. Be like, oh, wow. See, I'm not I scared know. of nothing. Well, that's what, like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, I'm not scared of heights either. Mine's the kids, too. We're going to go with Christina's answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know sure about heights, that? <laughs> yeah, because if it comes down to like biggest fear, like, yeah, I would think like. A bear. No. Bears scare me. Oh, fuck a bear. Up. Okay. Oh, you well, like, wouldn't. If you, when you go on vacation, are you enjoying it or like 90% of your time focused on making sure the kids and your family is okay? I can't go anywhere without like being like high. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't like going out because Same. I have to That's be paying am. attention to fucking everything. Same, me too. And then every scenario is running through my mind like. Yeah, why feels, is that yeah. guy like fucking just keep looking over here? <laughs> mm-hmm. Where's this person at? Like, what? Like, why did he walk in right now at yeah. this specific time and walking over there? And then look, he's acting fucking yeah. weird. And mm-hmm. like, yeah, like I can't just let myself just enjoy shit. I agree. Like my which, mind, which is like a great mentality to have. Though. It, it it would be more fun if I didn't. Like, I feel like I'd want to go out more, but crowds like like my heart's just constantly racing. Yeah, especially when you're with people you care about. Like when I'm with my wife out, yeah, I'm definitely like always. Especially high alert. if I'm like with her or whenever I'm with the kids, mm-hmm. I'm worse. High alert. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if I'm by myself, then it's like, okay, I know I can take Relax care of whatever I need more. to take care of. If I need to get the fuck out of here, I can mm-hmm. get the fuck out of here. But whenever I'm with them, then it's like, okay, where's the exit? Mm-hmm. What am I gonna do if this happens? Mm-hmm. Like, how are we gonna deal with this? How are like yeah, and then I and, have bad anxiety in and general, they're like, What are we so gonna order to drink? Just exacerbates it. Like it's just like a, yeah, yeah, I mean, our poor it, kids, yeah. like, those, those kids are fucking <laughs> <laughs> dyslexic. Fucking. The other day, my, my daughter was like, hey, do you get headaches when you eat raw onions, too? And I was like, yeah. She's like, okay, I got that one from you then. Yeah, she, there's like, a, there's always like a, a list. She has, like, a running list of yeah. things. Like, my, I get migraines, and my son gets migraines. Yeah, and Pudge just gets like, migraines. Like, yeah. One point for mom. Another yeah, one. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, that one's from dad. Well, I put... Achilles cut. Ugh, Ooh, yeah. I don't was like it from Hostel, even, right? Like, touch. What's that? Was no. it from Hostel? Yeah, what was it? What is that? I think it was that, like her ankle. Oh, like if they cut right here. Oh, you ever seen Hostel? Okay, because there was, was I don't know where you no. got, where you got the fear from. Like where was, was that? Like a child's play, wasn't it? When like he was under the bed. Uh, pet cemetery. Pet, okay, yeah. Oh yeah, you did tell me about that. But then one of my teachers uh, was telling me like a true story about when he was like running home from something like he had to come home and get um changed real quick and um the, the door? door oh you the told door, me like, that story and, like hit him in the back of the sh- the, the, the achilles and um okay. uh yeah and it like it severed it and it coiled up uh, into his yeah. in his leg and so like they like, had to there's that for you now yeah so i just think about that blood. every time you're walking Ooh. through the door is like, it's like yeah, so like anytime know. i <laughs> <laughs> anytime it like strains or like hurts i'm like oh man it's gonna snap oh, it's gonna go yeah, i don't like that's and there's that. actually an antibiotic or medication that you can take that, that that's one of the side effects is that like your ligaments and tendons are like more Whoa, susceptible right. to oh my it. gosh <laughs> change it what's the next question uh add that to my fear list, babe. <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> that is right at the top. Did I get it wrong then, babe? Because it's not snakes? No, she said rats. It's fucking rats. It's rats. I think if I saw a snake, I would be like scared. Oh, but Or if it was eating a rat. But if then. I see a rat, no, I'm I'm like ready to die. Like I'd rather just die than if I saw a rat. Damn. Yeah, like mm-mm. Yeah, that's the extreme. Um, um, oh, you don't want to see Master Splinter then. Go ahead, Gibby. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Were these the questions Christina put on there too? Christina got some questions. But <laughs> Who wears the pants in the relationship? That's funny. 
Yeah. Let's ask your kids questions then. Come on. Oh, yeah, let's ask some different questions because right, these so are some of hers. Let's throw in. Come on. I'll be honest. All right. My wife's game them. is over. Now Christina's game. Whoa, but man. We might have to have a lot of skips. That's crazy. There's one that fell. Can't. We might have to have a lot of... Oh, there's oh, one on the floor, Gibby. One Gibby. fell on the floor. I think some fell, too. <laughs> you might just need like, to it's skip a couple of them. Like the mic? Because... Sorry. We might need to skip quite a few of them because they're... Some of them are kind of personal. Well, so just tell Gibby so. to close his ears. All right, who's first? Christina, you go first. This says, what does your partner do that turns you on that they don't know about? Hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Won't that ruin it? Because oh, yeah. then I'll know. That's about true. It. That's going to ruin it. Yeah, wouldn't that ruin it? Or, or, I mean, because then I'd be purposely like. Yeah, because then I'm going to be doing it all the time. It. Yeah. Like, you you about, is she turned right on right now? now? Huh? <laughs> 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 Lyrical's pouring milk. Oh, shit, this is it. This is it. Let me take my shirt off. It's when I'm eating cereal. Isn't it? <laughs> He's got it on his beard. Whoa, <laughs> <all> man. <laughs> He's like, what are you looking at? <laughs> Stop staring at me. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> when he's eating cereal in bed and just smacking all, crunching all loud while I'm trying to go to sleep. Watching the regular show. I can't think I see this in sleep. <laughs> she wakes up, what's up? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Bean uh, Bean <laughs> All right, so we do we answer that one or do we keep that one a secret for us? Or should we answer? We can answer. You want to answer? It? I don't answer it, right? I don't know. Mm, no. Well, I mean, I mean you answer it, right? Yeah, I thought you answer whatever. Well, you okay, oh, yeah. so then there's um, there's a certain outfit that he wears. I guess I can say. And the way I won't tell him what outfit it is. He just. So like, like, he's like, really he's cool. like, fuck, which one is it? <laughs> so I can hear it again. Yeah. Whoa, man. I'm trying to think of. That's crazy. It's, it's that word well, the one I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew it was fly when I got it. Super think fly. of the costumes there, girl. You have in that closet. So there's a certain Massless outfit that he wears, chaps. and you're like, that's it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're like, that's the one right there. <laughs> And it's really not like something that he would guess. No, Anyways, no, it's like, simple, right? Mm-hmm. It's yeah, I, I have that. Yeah. All right, go ahead, babe. <laughs> we're, talking, we're not going to tell Lyrical exactly. Go. No, you get your question. Oh, I was like, what? Oh, I got the worst one. I got the worst one. I'm a scientist. Jesus. Have you ever faked? An orgasm with your partner. Oh, of course. Uh, yeah, that's obvious. Close your I'm, ears, son. I'm 32 years old. If she that's hasn't faced him by now, then I'm really good. <laughs> I'm really fucking... I'm a pro. <laughs> I, should have a, I should have a different career. Uh, I feel no, like these are like... Well, that one's just kind of... <laughs> I, I answered it so I wouldn't get hurt, so I answered it for should, <laughs> should I answer another one then, since that one's obvious? You give a fuck. We're fucking yeah, go ahead. Anyways. Answer another one then. <laughs> Who doesn't fake it? Like, you're not going to all the time. Especially girls. Like, there's no way a guy can really fake it. But a girl can always fake it. Ooh. This one's hard. Would you let your partner have sex with your best friend to save your life? Who's your best you friend? You said that one in, <laughs> <laughs> in, in car, the car. When I was cutting him up. I gave him, because I gave him an example. And that was the one that I, Ooh. an example of. Because I was telling him, I was like, man, I really don't know if we're going to be able to answer these or not. I didn't think this through. It's okay. Uh, Gibby. <laughs> She's into so I like them, Christina. That's the one I... Like. I like them. But would you yes or no? You don't have <laughs> Who's to your specify. Best no, they, they, they don't make don't it weird. her feelings. She's going to hear this one. No, but... <laughs> so I would She's have... Be would angry. you be okay with me having sex with her in order to save the world your or your life? life? Or would you just Okay, so die? essentially you're either like, I'm just going to die knowing... That didn't happen, or I'm gonna stay alive knowing I'm alive, but no. I know it happened. I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> I'll but die. Then, what if you die, and I'm just like, all right, well, now I can do it without her. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, no, no, well, then at least she won't know. At least she'll die she knowing like, I did it. No, I'm just no. it. Okay, that's okay. what it's all about. I trust <laughs> she her. goes, I, I don't give a fuck. This is, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. Okay, good to know. Never she said, I'm on my deathbed. I'm like, you said not, nah, bro. You said not. Nah. She's gonna call me. She's gonna be like, just so you know, it would okay, never happen. Okay, what if you don't know what a word is? She don't even listen to the show. <laughs> What'd you say? Orgasm. 
<laughs> no, this whatever this word. What is, is this oh, word? Poly, 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 polyamorous, oh. polyamorous, polyamorous, or gamorous? Amorous. I was polyamorous. Saying, I think of like, like polyglamorous. Oh, I was thinking polygon. It's, it's like an open relationship. Like, the definition oh. of that like, is like more than one partner. Okay, well answer. I mean, answer. Ask the question. The the well, definition? this question's like Look there's only like one good answer. What's the isn't, definition? Give me? But isn't that Who's being it? married with it's, more it's, than no, one it's, partner? All right, hold on. It's, it's, Would you rather be miserable and single or happy in a polyamorous relationship? Yeah, why would so I want to be miserable? Well, it's <laughs> If you didn't have the miserable, he would have been like, okay, this is a good question. Like, I don't want to be miserable. <laughs> yeah, like, why would, would you rather be miserable? Be miserable? Like, nope. I feel like there's only I one answer not, for like, that. I did not, make these up. I stole these from a card it's basically game. basically like, who will have relations with, like, multiple people. Okay, no, no. Okay, here's the question. Relations? Here. Well, it's, here's no, no. Give me, because we can't hear you. So, so it's you relations said the word with relations. other people? Let's bleep that out. Definition? No, I know, I know. Characterized by, or I can't fucking read that. All right. So essentially, would you rather be single or would you rather be in a relationship with Christina, but she's dating other men? But she's, she's dating, other, dating men? other men, right? Is that what it is? No. I thought it just meant like we'd have like multiple partners. Okay, let's just be like if it was an open relationship. Then. Both of y'all. I don't know. But then we'd be happy. Yeah. <laughs> so then, like. <laughs> Like, why would you want to be miserable? That's crazy. I don't know. It's just what was on the card. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I'd rather He's like happy, miserable. I think yeah, I'm gonna go I with that. Want to be like a miserable, lonely guy. <coughs> Damn. I'm gonna get the hardest fucking one now. Watch. So then you would just go with. The yeah, point. I'd want to be happy. Like, of, of course. All right. <laughs> would you rather share your toothbrush or a washcloth with your partner? Washcloth. For sure, a washcloth. There's a toothbrush. Is that like an unusual thing, sharing a washcloth? No. Is that unusual? Yeah. I think it's because a lot of people are grossed out to uh, share okay. stuff with their partner. I'm not. I mean. Yeah, I don't. I mean, besides toothbrush, I mean, I'm not going to brush my teeth with her toothbrush. That's the only thing yeah, that, that I'm that like. Yeah, that would be weird. But you wouldn't, babe? If I had to, yeah, I would. But I'm saying I'm not gonna go and be like, "Here's your toothbrush. Let me go." Bro. Like I'm not going to. But like everything else, I'm like, I don't give a shit. Yeah. So, toothbrush, not play. washcloth. <laughs> All right, Christina's turn. Get a hard one. Get a hard one. Not a hard on the hard. I about to say like it's gonna say something about a hard. What would you pay your partner to stop doing? I can't even remember what your answer was earlier. Giving Bad shitty massages. Back <laughs> Would that be it? Yes. Yeah, how, okay. no, no. Well, explain why is it shitty? What does he do? Do it on Gabby. What does he do? He's just really lazy with it. <laughs> like, I get my That's crazy. And like, it's the, like where I'm getting on right now. Like, the source is always the same area. And I'm like, can you just massage this area? Like, the whole And he'll area. just like... We'll be sitting like watching TV or something in bed. He will just he'll be, stay laying down <laughs> and just. <laughs> but it works. No, it doesn't ever. <laughs> he said, but it works. He said, but it I'll, works. Like, <laughs> I was just like, it's because okay. it is work. It is. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, like, so it is, are it, other things, but no. I am a giver. A hundred percent of the time. No, but look. Look. <laughs> A hundred percent of the time. She gets a massage, a massage another way. <laughs> My jaw. <laughs> no, she <laughs> great massage. It hurts. <laughs> like Jonah Hill. That's funny because uh, my back's actually located on my car. <laughs> 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 the funny thing about that is the funny thing about that. <laughs> so she does need back ribs. Um, but see, I used to be at the, I used to be so <laughs> shitty. Like I would just be like. Uh, uh, whatever. But like now, I've gone to the point. Where I'm like, look, I gotta. Let's like say something. He got a good five minutes, so I go in those five <laughs> minutes. I'm just. <laughs> I'd be happy. And after with that, I'm like, I got arthritis. My ass can't do this no more. Yeah, my fucking happy. hands start hurting. <laughs> what? Your thumbs and shit. Yeah. And we don't hurt too. That's, like, that's why. Hell? No, that's why I go with five minutes. I'm like five strong minutes, ten minutes. I'm like, there we go. After that, the okay, whole time. Okay, I'm okay, okay, like, five but minutes. I don't people even, do this professionally. For an hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, see, like my anxiety, I overthink it. I can't like I 
there's so many times I've like just wanted to set up a massage and go actually get one. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I don't want to be naked in front of somebody. I don't want someone like touching in all my fat and stuff. Like that's gonna be really uncomfortable. I'm not gonna be able to enjoy the massage <laughs> with someone I don't know. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, can you just? <laughs> and it's not even like all over my body. It's just like my neck. Can you yeah. massage my you neck, guys, please? Slow poke Rodriguez over here to fucking <laughs> give you a massage. He's like, Punch okay. right in the back of the neck. <laughs> he said. <laughs> <laughs> But she like lays like right next to me, and it's because like because you well, don't tell. Like if I try to lay on my stomach, yeah. you do the same thing. Yeah. It's like you'll stay laying down and just. It's like the lo- that paper is like do something. That's what she's waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> do something, okay? <laughs> All right, now I get it. Okay, that makes sense. Ah, so right. if you give five minutes, we get five minutes. Okay, but then I get five minutes on the other stuff too. Yeah, what are you gonna do? It yeah, twice? Yeah, the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you saying you get double the time for me? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell yeah. That like <laughs> fucking five me. times? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, how long are we running on, Gibby? Two hours. How long? What is it? Two plus hours? No, it's not. Oh shit! Two hours, two plus hours. Oh, yeah, that's already like ten. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Holy, Holy shit! Okay, all right, guys, okay. let's wrap oh, this man, episode. Up. Play more games. I know. Let's wrap it up, guys. Oh. Um, we've been gone for a good minute, so this episode is probably not going to be however long we shot it for, like two hours. I'll drop an exclusive episode with the full two hours long. Like, where if you guys want to listen to the full two hours, that's fine. But oh, he just I don't know if I'll make this one two hours because it's we, we talked a lot. Okay? <laughs> So if you got to listen to the full hour one, then nice. But if I cut it, then you got to listen to an hour and 20 minutes or whatever of the podcast. Uh, thank you to our wives for coming on the episode. We wish we could do more. We could have talked more, but it's okay. Um, oh, you guys follow my wife on her Instagram for her lashes called Adore Me Lashes. So check her out if you guys can get your lashes done over there. Can we get your lashes done? Yeah. So check her out over there. Tell her the TFTI sent her. Um, for anybody, a discount for a discount yes for a discount yeah uh, and then follow us rate us give us five stars on Spotify um, subscribe on YouTube and everything so yeah uh, thank you guys for coming on this episode and then um, at the end of the episode when we have a oh, guest she was about to go for I it. know I'm waiting at the end of the episode we I've have, been waiting yeah. when we I have always want to like stop <laughs> yeah I think we're past the point of okay explain. we can all right, say all right, it all right. I think we got this right. okay well what do we say? No. You usually like start saying, "Well, thank so you for listening. Thank you for whatever." Okay, so everybody wants y'all want to say the thanks for the invitation. Yeah, they're gonna okay, say that, okay. it with us. All right, guys. Well, thanks for listening and thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. And thanks, thanks for, for accepting, accepting our, our invitation. invitation. That's crazy.